Hi, this is Adam Lane from Pocketnow.com, and you're watching a Windows Phone Mango Preview. Okay, now we're going to look at... from Natalie Drenzewski. You can say read it or ignore. Read it. Okay, so what do you need me to do? You can say reply, call, or I'm done. Reply. Say your message. Just uh, send me an instant message and I will reply to it using my voice. This doesn't mean instant message and I will reply sweet using my voice. You can say send or try again. Try again. Say your message. Just send me an instant message. Just send me an instant message. You can say send or try again. Send. Alright, so I'm showing you the new messaging feature. That was an instant message from Windows Live Messenger, and I just replied to it using my voice without touching the device or anything. Now you can see the messaging live tile shows uh, one new message. Now this is going to show new messages for incoming text messages, Windows Live instant messages, and Facebook chat instant messages. So that's really nice to have them all there. Message from Natalie Drenzewski. You can say read it or ignore. Read it. Okay, what do you want me to say? <laughs> you can say reply, call, or I'm done. Reply. Say your message. Yes, that's good, thanks. Yes, that's good, thanks. You can say send or try again. Send. So there you go. Pretty cool. Now if I go into the messaging app, here we see threads. Now I can see threads for her. And you see down here it says chat on messenger. So that means she's available on, on Windows Live Messenger. And at the top you're going to see messenger. But if I am talking to her on Facebook or text messages, it's going to show me which uh, network each of these messages is coming from. Now down here, I can see, I can attach pictures. Uh, there's my speak button, so if I want to do voice recognition right there, I can hit that. And switch is going to let me choose a different network. So I can choose Facebook or I can text her on her mobile. So that's really cool and there's the invite someone if you want to have a multiple person chat. And back here, uh, down here we have status so I can choose if I'm busy, away, blah blah blah. I can do a new message right there. There's your settings. And right here is the online tab. So this is awesome to have. Um, we can see everybody who's online with Windows Live Messenger or Facebook chat. And here, here we are. They're all ordered by alphabetically. So that's kind of annoying if you've got groups set up either on Facebook or Windows Live. But this really nice thing is it shows the recent contacts at the top. So you can really have quick access to the people that you've talked to most recently. So there's some of your Facebook people. Here's our settings. We'll just look at these real quick. You can shut off Facebook chat. You can shut off group text. That's about it. So that's the messaging app and it's really, really cool to be able to do no hands uh, Facebook chat or live messenger, instant messages, as well as, of course, text messaging works that way too. That's it for the messaging app. Now let's look at email. 
So you see, I have one email account pinned there. Down here, I actually have a linked email account, and I called it Junk Emails. Now this is the um, this is the answer to Unified Inbox. Some people were missing the Unified Inbox feature in Windows Phone 7 because each email account had its own live tile. You had to go and find it and click on it if you wanted to see it. But we have linked emails now. So if you want to group specific email accounts, here I have my Hotmail and my Google Mail account linked together. So you don't have to have all of them because that would be like way too many emails. I don't, I don't want that many. But you can group ones that, you know, we don't need to see all the time. So the way you do that, you go into one email account, and then down here is the linked inboxes. So I can choose which ones I want to group, and then down here I can rename it. So that's really cool. Now here's another thing. See that? This is a folder within another account. So sometimes you might have some server-side rules that automatically put certain emails from certain people or with certain subjects all into one folder. It's a really great way to automatically organize emails. But with a, a normal email account, it's only going to show what's you know new messages in your root inbox so this way if I go down here I'm already navigated to a folder and then I can choose pin to start and then I can see the email count just for that folder so that's a really great way to organize your emails So that's some uh, really cool features. Now, if you notice, in the programs list, junk emails, that appears only once. It no longer shows Hotmail or Google email as items in the programs list. They are only available as a link, linked inbox. But again, if you want to see just the emails from Hotmail, you just go to the folders and then you can see those really easily. Now there's a few other issues. Let's see. Drafts. This is one thing that I really hate. I have some drafts in my Hotmail email account, but guess what? They don't show up. I can't edit them. This is something you know other phones are able to do, but apparently Windows Phone and Microsoft can't seem to sync drafts. So if I wanted to edit one or send one, it's not going to happen. You'll also notice, let's go to Conversation View, I can see which ones I've replied to. This only works with Exchange 2010, unfortunately. IMAP email accounts and older versions of Exchange do not work for reply or forwarding status syncing. So if you want to remember which email you replied to, you're not going to be able to see that as an icon. One more thing that's new, uh, we don't have context sensitive search button anymore in email, so you have a new search button right there on the toolbar. So that's how you can search your emails. So big features there, LinkedIn box and pin to start menu for the folders, which are pretty cool. That's it for now. Be sure to check out pocketnow.com for our full preview of Windows Phone Mango with lots of text, pictures, and more videos. That's it for now.